Uh, is it true they can they can kill a horse? I heard I heard somewhere that they're capable of bringing down like livestock. Uh, you need a horse killed because I know a guy. <laughs> oh, uh, okay, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Um, <laughs> yes, well, they can supposedly, and I certainly believe it. What I've seen is them eat an antelope that was caught alive in a trap uh, by Bushmen, uh, or, or sorry, uh, uh, the pygmies in the Congo, and uh, clearly killed alive and eaten alive. Uh, and uh, I always tell people that's why you do not see uh, cattle uh, tied up in Africa. Uh, you, uh, those ants, you know, they're slow enough that uh, a cow and a human can normally walk away from them, but of course if you can't get away, uh, they can be lethal. Those jaws can cut flesh, and there are a heck of a lot of them, and the order of tens of millions by some estimates in wow. a co one colony. That's incredible. Coming from a single queen? Coming from a single, very busy, very, very um, <clears throat> large queen, yes. Incredible. That's great. Um, now, where can um, people buy your book, Mark? Well, obviously, uh, they should be able to find it in their local bookstore, or they should complain. Send in complaints now, because <laughs> they so should fast. have huge stocks available, particularly when this video comes up. Uh, but if that fails, Amazon.com uh, has copies for you. Excellent. Now, um, in your opinion, how do you think we humans can learn and benefit from studying and observing ants? Well, there are several ways, Mickey. Uh, one is certainly the fact that ants are essential to the environment and uh, uh, the fact that people are obsessed too much by the ones that invade their kitchen and don't realize that those are often an invasive species and that the real native ants are doing a lot of good. And those are one thing, that's a, one lesson we have to send out. Uh, other things include the fact that ants uh, actually organize societies in a way that I think is much more like humans than we often feel comfortable representing. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't feel that was comfortable in the days of sociobiology because there was this implication of uh, some connected evolutionary reason for it with humans. But in fact, the reason ants behave like us is because they are a complex system in many cases of millions of individuals. So uh, they can be more like modern humans in their our large societies than even primates. We talk all about the comparison to primates. Well, primates live in groups of 10, maybe 100 occasionally in chimps, but right. ants, they're dealing with groups of millions all the time, sure. and they have to deal with the same problems of public health, with moving goods around, with infrastructure, uh, like no other animals except maybe a few termites. No other animals are like us and the ants and having societies, city-states of millions, essentially. That's amazing. Yeah, well, uh, most of the uh, viewers of this channel are ant keepers, ant hobbyists, ant enthusiasts, and I'm sure they all would like to know if you yourself keep any ants in at your home. No, I don't. Because <laughs> uh, I get uh, in correspondence with people every once in a while about their, you know, their ant farms. I see. And I get these very depressing series of emails as all the ants slowly die away. Oh. And I that they need the queen and so forth. Yeah. I, in fact, love to keep pets, but uh, I found that I, I'm really a field guy. I, hear I find that, uh, you know, even the ant I studied for my thesis, the marauder ant, you could put it in captivity and all its behavior would fall apart. So I don't trust uh, captivity that much. You right. can learn a lot, of course. But out in nature, ants are really contending with all kinds of really cool issues. And that's why I like to take my... Uh, research in the wild and take my pictures in the wild. In the field, yeah. Great. Um, any last words for your fans and for ant lovers around the world who share your ant love? Well, keep up the faith because there's not a lot of money flowing into ant research right now. John McCain recently slandered one ant research project for being a waste of public funds. So you have to send the message out of how interesting ants are how they uh, can connect with humanity, both in terms of what they do for the ecology and what they can teach us about ourselves as social beings. And hopefully that'll uh, change things around and we will become, like the Egyptians, uh, all-powerful as entomologists again.
Love it. Love it all. Thank you so much, Mark Moffitt. Really, uh, really shed a lot of light. And it's uh, truly an honor to, uh, to have you here with us to share a few words and your thoughts. Thanks again. My pleasure. Thank you, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. This was an uh, interview with none other than the Ant-Man himself, Mark Moffitt. Tune in for the next video soon. I heard somewhere that they're capable of bringing down like livestock.